This is Twit. Last year, Wired broke the story about how the NSA was building what amounts to a data center, a one million square foot data center, just chock full of switches and mostly, mostly hard drives, a storage array so they could store information on every email and phone call and whatever else electronic communication you can think of. Well, since that story broke, the estimate has gone from about 1.7 billion up to about one or 1.5 billion up to about 1.7 billion. The reason being that even though they were supposed to open this October, they've been losing hundreds of thousands of dollars due to power problems. That's right. Not just brownouts, but we're talking about arc faults. I think Jason's got a video here of what an arc fault failure actually looks like. He'll pop it up as soon as uh, yeah, yeah, it's something like that. So imagine that happening in a data center. Now, they're not really clear as to why these arc faults are happening. They're not, of course, it's a super secret data center. They're not telling you what it's doing to the equipment, but if sources are to be believed, it is causing a tremendous amount of damage. Imagine some of the most cutting edge equipment and then frying it. Chibert, I wanna throw this over to you first because we know that they're using up a lot of power. In fact, that's one of the reasons why they chose Utah in the first place. They could get cheap power. They, they estimated that they could save between 39 and $45 million a year on the power costs alone. Another indicator is the fact that you, they could buy cheap land in Utah. But this seems to be negating this, right? I mean, because if you're getting cheap power, but you're blowing up everything that's connected to it, that that's not a really good decision for IT, right? No, it's, uh, it goes, basically it comes down to the contracting specs. When you when you're a large government organization, you're you're bound by purchasing laws. Um, there are tons and tons of people called contracting officer technical reference. It's COTARs. It's the responsibility of the COTAR to go and evaluate the bid specs to um, figure out what's going on with the uh, technical specs and to fix them or modify them for the contracting officer. Um, my suspicion is that the COTARs involved were only have only had experience building smaller data centers. Building a really, really big data center is a very, very different thing. You know, from breakers that require you to pump, and then once you pump, you push an actuator button. That way it flips and you don't have problems with this arcing. Uh, I suspect that maybe, just maybe, there was some goofs in the contracting specifications, and that what they're having to do now is do a lot of um, fixes. Right. Uh, so, bummer.